This Homer is Sykes England, otherwise known as This is England by Homer Sykes. This 32-page um, size of a zine, I think, is about eight and a half by six, was published, as, I think, around 2014, was a collaboration with, I think it was the Robert Donnier Gallery in Paris, and it was about, I think, a period of 10 years' worth of Homer's work where he's documenting British culture, traditions, folklore, um, pop culture, all sorts of stuff. I covered Homer's um, American travels in an earlier camera review. I've got uh, some more books by Homer, and I'll, I'll have a look at them, and I think I've got some Cafe Royal books as well, and I'll have a look at them. I think after the American imagery, Homer really focused on his own soil. He focused on um, uh, British culture. And thankfully, you know, we've got a really good archive through, through Homer of um, a, a lot of sort of things we would um, not normally see. And this book itself is 32 pages, like I said, it's a soft cover first edition published um, with the, in collaboration with the Robert Donnier Gallery and there were only 700 copies made. I've seen a few links where you can still buy it. It's very difficult to get a hold of. But let's have a look through it. So you have, um, this is Eton College, 1978. You have um, the list, the key references for the pictures. And then all the way through, the pictures are in this format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down. And this, I think, is a really good... Um, a book to sort of get a good reference on um, Homer's work in this country. I think it'd be good if anybody is working in a picture library or working on anything to do with um, projects with British culture to sort of, you know, use it as a good reference point. Like I try to sort of say with all the books I look at, learn from them, read into what they're about, l learn about the subject matter, learn about how they're shot, you know, have a little lesson from the professionals and I'll do my best to sort of work you through the books. I won't show you all of the books. I may show you all of this. This work is widely available on Homer's website, which I will put in the link. And let's have a look at it. So we have, um, what is this? Uh, it's called Black Sanding, Sunday morning men gather around Brian Pier waiting for money to be washed up. With the tide. I've never heard of that. Maybe Homer can comment on that down in the links. How interesting. This is um, Helston Festival, Cornwall. That's that one there. Wow, look at that. That looks like something from the 50s. Wow. Let's bring it down a little bit more. This is Teddy Boys playing 75 London. Now I've seen this stuff. Um, this stuff here, this is the sort of berry man, isn't it? From um, Scotland, the Scottish berry man, that's it. Wonderful. I've been down one of them myself. I don't know what it smells like, I know what it's like. This is in Kirkby, Yorkshire, 1979. Passing the time of Bay, Portobello Road. 1975, how times have changed. Oh, look at this. Rastafarian, uh, 1976, um, telling the police what he thinks. Interesting. Let's go back onto that. What I'll do is I'll show you the left hand side. That's why. Right. So that's. Oh, there's two good shots here, so I'm going to show them both. That's great. What's that? Uh, that is um, working class fashionable couple. That's titled as. And that's in um, Cumbria, 1975. I think I'm onto the right one. This I love. I love this. This is like, feels like a sort of Brian Griffin in a way. I don't know if you're familiar. I'm really going to go off subject here. If anybody's familiar with the Brian Griffin shot, which I showed in an earlier camera review from the Cafe Royal books, and it's a shot of London Bridge where it's a famous shot by Brian where you're looking out the sort of back window to the commuters and the backdrop of, of, of London. Uh, uh, 
of London um, embankment. This is the sort of shot which would be looking in from that shot. It's just got that light, it's got that chromatic feel, it's got that almost noir um, scene to it. And it's, 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 I love it, it's fantastic, beautiful vision. I love the way the light interacts with the subject and the sort of strip of it and the sort of capture of that um, moment is just absolutely fantastic. This is um, this is the Narcissus and Wedges Disco Chelsea 1982. Yuppie time, I guess. This is Shara Sex, undergraduate at Corby Christie College University. Okay. It's a chef. Um, so this is Westminster School annual show of Tuesday pancake. That's nineteen seventy six. Fantastic. And that's dancing that way to Blitzko, nineteen eighty. Oops. I'll do that. You can bend your head. I'm going to go back to horizontal format. I like the horizontal format. I'm so pleased you did this instead of having that sort of picture there and all that space and I think if you've got to do that you've got to do it. I like the fact that it's done that because even though you have to turn it around it doesn't matter. Young Couple Earls Court, Bedsit, London 1977. I love shots like that. This is the sort of shots I want to shoot. I love them. It's fantastic. Screaming fans, um, Bay City Rollers. Homer, I had no idea you'd been to a Bay City Rollers concert. I, I, I've looked you in the eye a few times and I never knew that. That is unreal. I, I never don't think I've ever met anybody who's been to a Bay City Roller concert, and now I obviously have. Wonderful. And is this? Here's another. I love this shot as well. Hey, do you use subculture skinhead electric ballroom Camden? I love it. It's a real sort of variation of different parts of the British community. And you can see Homer's been out there and he's been out documenting and documenting and documenting like a man on a mission and I think in a hundred years time we'll be thankful for this um, and we have just such a detailed amount of uh, sort of insight into into our culture and there's a lot of other photographers doing it but I, I particularly like the fact that Homer's really focused on it continually and he saw it as a really good way to make a living, which is fair enough, and to sort of establish his name and leave a bit of a legacy behind him as well. That, you know, hats off to him. Elderly couple sleep on their deck chairs. Um, South NLC, 74 Essex. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. There's National Front. Uh, Anti-National Front Rally, 1977, demonstrator tries to break through. And it hasn't changed, has it? It's still going on. And let's just finish off with these last two pictures. Oh no, we'll finish off with these three. What have we got here? Young Conservatives at a political rally, Trafalgar Square, 68. And... This is Epsom Downs, the working class family in a picnic in 1970. Wonderful. And that's it. There's some acknowledgements here. Oh, here we go. Uh, it is the Robert Donia Gallery, 70, 1970, 1980. A great variation. Uh, 700 editions, 2014. I should have looked in the end. That was all off the top of my head when I first um, think. I remember buying this at the time. Really pleased. The only thing I'm sad about is it's not signed. 
and I'd like to have it signed, please. Thank you, Homer. Thanks for continuing your work and thanks for this legacy of British culture. Thank you.